Hey, good afternoon. This is Trevor, trevorspring.com. I uh, wanted to discuss some topics today, some foundational things. Um, the main one being self-optimization. Uh, the family and I recently transplanted here to California from the island of Oahu in Hawaii and uh, restarting, the, uh, restarting my, my professional image as a, a self-optimization coach and you might ask what that means and the idea of uh, the idea behind that is that I've been a I've been a trainer been a, a personal trainer for about 13 years and uh, it's taken many different faces and I like to think that I've evolved to where I'm at now and um, I really think it's it's essential to work on your entire being if you're going to go and say try to make yourself feel better try to make yourself look better try to be happier that you have to really address four essential topics um, and this is really foundational to how I'll be working and everything that I'll offer in the future here on the website and um, it's it's a, it's real simple I mean it's it's complex in layers but the on, on the surface it's simple just imagine a three-legged stool and the three-legged stool represents sort of the supportive elements of um, self-optimization. First one being mental, um, how you logistically handle your life, how you uh, deal with the day-to-day -day world, the mundane aspects of being, uh, bills, work, communication, um, and how you can keep perspective on your life really. Um, and then physical, which is, you know, we interact with our physical world and um, it's really, our physical body is our interface. It's also our channel for all, all of our energy to come through and to have this mental, um, emotional, spiritual inspiration. So it's this huge tool and interface that we can use or that we can underutilize. And um, I wanna dedicate some time to optimizing that as well. The third one, so mental, uh, first, physical second, emotional third, and this is one of the this is one of the I think culturally uh, most misunderstood elements, and um, it's something that I'll have lots and lots to say about. This is kind of just the foundational video, but um, yeah, addressing what your body tells you through your emotions, and how your emotions can really be your guidance system and uh, how much of our culture doesn't honor that. And uh, I really want to assist people in um, feeling validated and in, in acknowledging their own process as, as uh, uh, really important and as really getting, the more you can get into your own process and like honor it and say, yeah, this is what I'm feeling, even though it doesn't look like a lot on the surface, um, like it feels this way to me. And how when you crack that open, there's just so much there for you to learn and grow and become more three-dimensional with. Um, so mental, physical, emotional, and then the third leg of the stool, or sorry, the, the top of the stool, after you get those three legs set, I really see as the spiritual foundation. And people are kind of like, oh, spiritual, but um, I don't mean that in a dogmatic way. I don't mean it, you know, it's whatever spirit is to you. Um, the way I see that is really just the oneness. It's like us feeling connected and supported by our environment, whether that's um, nature, whether it's people, whether it's um, our job, uh, whatever you're doing, there is a way that you can feel energetically, spiritually supported by what you're doing. And that's the goal, is to just to really feel a deep connection to everything that we do. And that's how I define the spiritual element. Um, so don't let that be off-putting to whatever your belief system is. Um, everything goes here. So mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, and with all those elements, we can be whole. And if one of those elements goes away, the whole thing topples. So um, one of the things that I've seen in, uh, in training, and I'll just close out with this, in training for all those years is, is really the overdevelopment in our culture of the, the mental, the logical, and the physical aspects of our, of our being. And the emotional, spiritual elements, be, because they're so loosely defined, and so misunderstood, I think, uh, I think they're lacking. And I'd really like to bring those up 
and maybe drop the other ones down a little bit so there's this evenness across the board of the four categories so we can really be in wholeness and in this dynamic equilibrium with how we're living our life. So um, lots more to come. Hope that can give you a little bit of perspective on how you're applying your energies today. Uh, I try to address my reality in that way every single day. And uh, again, more to come. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.